Okay, um, earlier today I met a post on bushcrafting preppers of outdoors South Carolina, and the post was not this post, but that's not my name, but anyway, I'm going to talk while you're looking at this post right here on Facebook. Anyway, the fact of the matter was that the post was me talking about repetitious gear, people bringing out this new thing that has like a few other simple little extra upgrades and it called a whole entire different product and they might charge a whole lot more for it which is bullcrap and this is another part of my questioning the repetitious gear and everything else of people's thoughts and all that and then you see this little statement right here here's the flashlight here's all the contents of it you know and here's some of the comments Come on, load, dang it. Oops. And these right here happen to be all the comments showing their lights, etc., etc., etc. But there's the end of it right there. And there's a large, long amount of comments right here, you know, and I thought about commenting on this, but my favorite comment is down right there by Leon Johnson. No, he asked, why not? Leon Johnson says it's too heavy, you know. Anyway, the fact or the main question is, is does the average maglite, which was the bomb back in the day, which I own a bunch of them. I used to own a bunch of them. This one right here goes one of my big ones that I have misplaced at the moment. Called a maglite. Anyway, the question, does it still have a purpose for survival or bushcraft or other needs for the average day prepper, outdoorsman, etc. in a day's time? My answer is still yes, because there's nothing wrong with the light. And people say, oh, it's not really that bright. If it's dark outside and it allows you to see and you can see every direction 20 feet plus, that's bright enough. You don't need nothing more. All right, folks. See you around.